Okay, so we're putting, uh, we're doing the first part of the experiment. And here you can see the setup right here. Over here, we have the interface. We plug this into A. And unfortunately, you can't really see the screen very well. But um, at the end of this, after I've taken enough data, uh, we'll actually show that. So right now I have it set up such that there's no mass on the spring. I'm going to add 10 grams and then see what my new displacement is. And as I can see, it goes down well, roughly to about 1.2 centimeters. So I'll put that in. Okay, uh, first I hit preview and the first column will show me what my force is. And uh, you know, do try to hit tear at the beginning just to zero out and make sure everything works. So here's 10 grams and then I will put in my measurement here. And that's 0 0.015, 15 centimeters, of course, once we divide by 100, it gives me 0 0.015. Once I'm happy with that, I'll say keep sample. I'll add another 10 grams this time. So now I'm up to 20 grams. Okay. Make a new measurement. See what my displacement is. Always use the same reference point. Okay. All right, so that's 29 millimeters or 2.9. So I'll put that in over here, 0 0.29, oops, again, 2.9 centimeters. We want to convert that into meters once we have it on there. And I will accept this, add another 10 grams. Look at my new displacement. 4.5 centimeters. Uh, add that to this column, 0 0.45. And we will keep that sample. Oops, gotta be a little bit careful here that you don't jump down uh, too far. Now I'm up to 40 grams. And I'm going to look at my new displacement. Looks like my new displacement is oh, almost seven centimeters, like uh, 6.8. So 6.8. No point in 6.8. We're going to keep this sample and keep adding more mass. I think we'll go from 40 to 50 now. Look at our new equilibrium position. Looks to be 8.5. 0 0.85. Okay, we'll keep that value. Okay, all right, well, I don't have any more 20, so I'm up to 60. Uh, make sure it's not oscillating. Got a pretty much an even 10 centimeters, maybe a little bit more. So that'll be 0 0.1, I'm guessing, you know, maybe an extra millimeter or two. Okay, we'll keep that sample. Now I'm up to 60, I'm going to 70 now, 40, 30. And this can be my last data point. All right. Just a little under 12, so I'd say 11.8. OK, 
Okay, just confirming this. Eight. The last one I made an error. You can always go back and, and edit these things. The last one I overestimated back when I was at 60. Look at that once more. Yeah, I overestimated that. About a 10.5. I just entered that wrong. Okay. So all my data is there. Now, let's see if I can zoom in on this and get a better look at what my data is doing. The problem with these cameras is you have to adjust them. So the brightness, right now you can't really see the data too well. I oh, wish I could get it just a little bit dimmer. All right. So here we can see our force. This is our displacement. I'm going to take a picture of this so you can see it better. And over here, you'll see a graph of force as a function of displacement. And maybe if I change the angle a little bit. Okay, that actually works right there. So I'm going to stretch out this axis right here. I don't want to go too far. And here you see my plot right there. So the slope, as it's showing, you know, we can cheat a little bit with this. Um, can't really see it there, but it's 5.34 uh, for my slope. Okay. Once you're done with that, you can take a picture. I'm just going to do this with my iPhone. This is easy enough. Take my iPhone and put it right up there. You can do a screen grab, but that's my data, and I'm happy with that, so that's what I'm going to go with. Okay, so I'm going to stop.